The Smiling Man. This one was very interesting because the, the horror films tend to do two things. They're either about the unseen or the seen. And we've, we've all watched the film and had that really disappointing moment where the, 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 the tension's been building from this unseen entity the whole time and then it reveals itself and it's pathetic. <laughs> All the magic just wafts away and you're just disappointed. So that's why horror films tend to either go with the, the seen or the unseen because they, 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 you know, they play it safe. They don't want to take that risk, but this film does take that risk and it pulls it off. And it's um, it's a, a rare it's rare for that to work, for the unseen and the seen to both work. But it, if it's done well, it can work very well, like Jew and the Grudge. which made me, I had to turn that off halfway through the first time I watched it because you don't expect it. The tension builds for so long about you not seeing something and then suddenly you see it and it, it doesn't, the, the, the horror doesn't go away. It's right there staring at you. <laughs> so that's, that's incredible. Oh, this film does a, this film does a very similar thing. So it, the cinematography builds this world as a very sort of safe, clean, affluent, affluent world. But then it very quickly shows us that there's something else in there with this little girl. And it it, build, it builds that tension, like I said, the unseen thing. It stretches it out like a laggy band until it's about to snap. And then when it snaps, it goes somewhere else. You, you're not really expecting it. It does that good, the grudge thing. It keeps you there. But I'm, I'm not going to tell you any more about it because I want you to watch it. And it would just ruin the rest of the film. So The Smiling Man, great world building. Great confidence straddling of horror methods and just really disturbing. <laughs> if that's what you're after, which you should be with a horror. I hate when people are like, oh, that was too much, that. Like, you, you went there to be horrified. Why, why are you bothered now that it's horrified you? Anyway, check it out. <laughs> check it out. 9 out of 10. Of course, it's 9 out of 10. I wouldn't have reviewed it otherwise. But there, as always, the link will be below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back next week with another Indie Short Reviews. Thank you.